Hi, I'm Judson Miller and uh, welcome to the, uh, the improved Hellgate High School. Hi everyone, I'm Joel Baird, the General Manager of Missoula Community Access Television. I'm here at Hellgate High School with Principal Judson Miller and we're going to talk about improvements this building, which is one of the earliest high schools in Missoula, the fantastic improvements that have been taken place over several years and is now complete. Judson, thanks so much for being on the show. Absolutely. How long have you been principal here at uh, This I'm finishing my third year currently. Oh, whoa. So you've been here for this great uh, improvement, right? The whole cycle. Like I that have. must have been great to start. <laughs> Starting your on job, day one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we're sitting in this beautiful library. And what was it before? Well, it was a uh, it was a parking lot actually. That to me is one of the more unique features of this library is that uh, a year ago that brick was looking down on dumpsters and uh, a dilapidated parking lot. And now it's the, the feature of our academic experience. That's the new design of the entire first floor of the building is that it's going to be first and foremost safe. So we have a lot of new safety features. And once that was accomplished, it's really about student access. Right. So we have um, all of the books that are better organized, better displayed, so the access is better. But we also have new technology, more computers, and more interactive technology spaces um, and more classroom space. And that's why we have the night hall. is a double classroom, essentially, with some new technology that allows interactive um, courses can take place in there. They can communicate with other, other teachers. Uh, we also have a new computer lab, all open, um, no doors to separate that, which is kind of the design. As you can see, it's right. just free flowing. The sunlight, the vaulted ceiling, the, um, the, we affectionately call them trees, but the steel girders that, yeah. that hold everything up. Um, and then the, the part that I really haven't spoken to is the partnership that we had with M&W and with Jackson and the way that they really reached out to a lot of our kids. So there was some internship. Those are architects and contractors. Yep, architects and contractors. And they offered some internship opportunities. They offered That's students great. a lot of opportunities to come out and see how this building came came to fruition and um, at one point all of this steel was laying on the side of the road out there as it was being manufactured. So right. it's pretty neat to see that. A lot of the project is really hidden work. Um, HVAC was a huge you know, heating, yeah. cooling, um, the green, our green energy movement, um, an initiative in this building that was so important to everybody uh, really uh, came to fruition. So we've got a state-of-the-art heating and cooling system. Um, it uses far less energy than it did before. And we also have um, cameras throughout the building and we have uh, lockable closed doors now that are all locked throughout the day. So we have a single access point that is also a part of the project. So before the project um, started, we had 22 different exterior doors that, that people could come in and out of throughout wow. the day. Now we have one. Uh, we have cameras. We never had cameras before. Um, they're working. They're great. Uh, we, our, our school resource officers now positioned in the right there in the front, full uniform every day. It's, it's really been um, a nice change um, to, to, to strike that balance between safety and um, without being scary. All right, well, you want to walk around? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, this is pretty open. Too. Yes, they did a great job. So this used to uh, be non-existent. There was no hallway. Right. The, our auditorium got updated, so the HVAC system and the heating and cooling. Um, but this is a really nice uh, addition that really help with those programs. So our band room is right there. Um, this, of course, is the green room. And then we have access to the auditorium now that we didn't have before. So during Les Mis, that was actually screened off and students were using all of this space for yeah. changing and sets so and all cast that. Because it yeah, and absolutely. in period costume. Yes. I mean, I recognize this. Yeah. It looks wider. So new flooring, was. new lighting, um, of course, all of this new HVAC. Oh, that survived. Yeah, that oh yeah, the old, the old safe, the old yeah. vault. Um, and then this is the night hall. So this is that double classroom that I was talking about. We can't go in there right now because they're doing some IB testing. Yeah. So we're gonna head up to the second floor okay. and then we're gonna come loop back around and come back the other way through the commons. This is a, another good example is you get all of this ceiling work is new. Right. So every one of those pipes and every one of those um, air supply units is creating a better classroom environment and really a big expense in the whole project, right. but not something that you're going to see when you go into the right. classroom. It's not like so we're going to take a left and we're going to go right through um, what is the new, affectionately called the new bridge 
um, because this is, was, was just a concrete slab. So this used to be a very old drop ceiling that was almost even with those wood cross members all the way down. When they removed that drop ceiling, we followed the original wood structure and have this new barrel ceiling with sound deadening material up there. So oh, it really opened up the whole yeah. gym. So this is our new single point entry. Um, we've got a uh, magnetic buzzing system. And so this is where everybody comes in, they're greeted, they're attended to in a, in a really, uh, I think a, a much better way because in the old system, people would just kind of wander in there right. and then they could be in the commons, they could be in a, you know upstairs, they didn't really know where to go. So this is much more intuitive. We have all the services that anybody needs right here. Um, all of our bookkeeping and um, athletic activities right here. Um, and it's just really, a, I think, a better way to serve our community. New display cases and we're still working with the best way to utilize them um, for art and for athletics and activities. And this really caught my eye. So that, com we call it the commons, um, is, serves as our, our uh, cafeteria of sorts where students can eat, but it also serves all day long as a student academic access point for study halls and for a place to, to just do some work and have access to the library and some of our teachers who are working in there as well. Yeah. And as you can see right now, students are using the area, they're studying, right. and then right back in the new library. I mean, this was a huge uh, undertaking and something our community really values and a lot of appreciation for the partnership. I love the fact that our parents are coming in, they're seeing these new spaces, they're seeing the new safety features and they're recognizing the type of academic experience um, that those dollars were able to provide. It really is a different academic experience. It's better, it's more accessible, um, and it's more flexible for our students. And that's, that's a credit to our community.